Today I'm going to be talking about why core packing will destroy the economy and your investments. And it's a very simple reason why. What we have in America is called the rule of law. You need to, we're not a democracy. We don't have a system where the people in this area, for instance, get to vote on uh, what you own or what your property can be or whether they could just take your property. Could all these people just get together and say, let's take away your property? No, because we don't have democracy. We have a republic, which means a rule of law. And in order to have a rule of law, you need to have a judicial system that is uh, impartial, but also is stable. And what we're seeing now in this present campaign is one candidate, I'm actually going to be walking by uh, one of his campaign uh, uh, things right here. One of them is actually talking about packing the court because he feels as though other presidents have nominated too many uh, judges and justices who uh, don't agree with him. And if you think about that, that's a really uh, troubling development because let's say, for example, that you have a president, he has a party uh, in the Senate, and let's say he wanted to just say, I want to take uh, half of your 401ks and I wanted to put it, that money in the treasury we're going to just spend it on something important, healthcare, education, you name it. Uh, that's what he wants to use it for. And if you think about it, what stops a president from doing that? I mean, sometimes you get some radicals in Congress that might go along with that. Uh, that might happen, or maybe you put it through a regulation in the bureaucracy and see what happens. Well, we have a thing called the judiciary. And it means that these are people. They're not. They don't. Uh, they don't. They don't work for the president. They are independent. They serve for life. So they're not uh, subject to the whims of the president. The president can't fire them. He can't uh, choose new justices unless there is a vacancy. Now the new idea, though, is something that is what would create a lot of instability and would be a real threat to your freedom. For example. Uh, let's go back to that idea. This new crazy president, he says, you know what, I'm going to take half of your 401ks and I'm going to build highways with it. I'm going to build hospitals with it. I'm going to build schools with it. You object, you say, hey, I don't like that, but it doesn't matter. Uh, president has enough power, I mean, has enough people in Congress and the bureaucracy to push this through. Well, you file a lawsuit and uh, it's going through the motions and then the president says, oh wait, um, there are only nine justices and I think they don't necessarily agree with me. Why don't we quickly uh, add some new justices who will just rubber stamp this. I'll find some radical people from some universities and uh, that's not hard to find. So you have some new radical people, uh, I don't know, four or five of them. And then, then you, you still file your uh, claim. You say, hey, I don't want my 401k pass, uh, taken away. And guess what? It's going through the motions, going through the court. You're going to lose because the president, in that case, has uh, stacked the deck against you. He basically said, I don't care about judicial independence. I want this to go through. So you uh, stack the deck, adding all these new seats to the Supreme Court to make sure that anyone who files a lawsuit uh, loses. So I know that people, people literally do, do take for granted the idea that there is some stability in America when it comes down to the rule of law. But I think that we're entering a very dark phase where people may lose a lot of their investments, a lot of their uh, independence uh, just because of, of one single election. So I think that's so something to keep, keep in mind. Court packing is not just a typical issue like taxation or campaign finance reform or uh, stuff like that. It really means literally that if you have court packing, it would give uh, a president unlimited power. There would be no check whatsoever because uh, that's just the way, that's the whole point of it, is to make sure that there are no checks on what that particular president and that Senate uh, can do at that time. And that's really a problem because actually a lot of dictators have done this in Latin America. The first thing they do, they want to get rid of this judicial independence. So what do they do? They add justice to the court. I mean, in some cases, maybe they try to fire them. But I think that we all agree that that's not a good idea to have the right to fire uh, judges or justices, uh, except in exceptional circumstances. Like even our constitution says they can be removed for bribery or 
high crimes and misdemeanors. So I think it's very important to keep in mind the idea of judicial independence is a reason why America is a wealthier country than many other countries. The idea that, hey, you're going to have a fair shot. The president doesn't get uh, that power to just randomly add uh, more seats to the Supreme Court in order just to get what uh, he wants in the future. So you have to think accordingly. And, and it doesn't matter how you vote uh, per se, although I think it does. What I think is important is that this has to be something that I think we have to say we don't want. You have to be, people have to be very uh, open and vocal about how they value the independence of the judiciary. It should not be something that's that's uh, just undermined like that. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll try not to get run over and talk to you in the next video. Definitely subscribe.